Who is Boris Johnson, new British Prime Minister and what will he mean for Brexit? Boris Johnson just beat his rival Jeremy Hunt to become the new British Prime Minister in a leadership contest with the Conservative membership electing him with a large majority. Immediately after the vote US President Donald Trump tweeted, Congratulations to Boris Johnson on becoming the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He will be great. But who is Boris Johnson? According to Wikipedia, Alexander Boris Dpfeffel Johnson, born June 19, 1964, is a British politician who is Prime Minister designate of the United Kingdom and has been leader of the Conservative Party since 23. July 2019 He has been the Member of Parliament for Uxbridge and South Ruislip since 2015, and was the MP for Henley from 2001 to 2008. He was Mayor of London from 2008 to 2016, and from 2016 to 2018 he served as Foreign Secretary. A member of the Conservative Party, Johnson identifies as a one-nation conservative and has formerly been associated with both economically and socially liberal policies. Born in New York City to wealthy upper-middle-class British parents, Johnson was educated at the European School, Brussels I, Ashdown House, and Eton College. He read classics at Balliol College, Oxford where he was elected president of the Oxford Union in 1986. He began his career in journalism at the Times, but was sacked for falsifying a quotation. He later became the Daily Telegraph's Brussels correspondent, with his articles exerting a strong influence on the growing Eurosceptic sentiment among the British right wing. He was eventually made assistant editor of the Telegraph in 1994. In 1999, he left The Telegraph to become editor of The Spectator, a role he would hold until 2005. Market Reaction As reported by the BBC, the value of the pound was almost unchanged by news that Prime Minister Theresa May will be succeeded by Boris Johnson tomorrow. After he was named Tory leader this afternoon. Michael Brown, an analyst at Caxton FX, said the widely expected Johnson victory had been priced in by currency markets. Focus will quickly switch to the next steps namely cabinet appointments and the Brexit plan, he said. The latter will be of more importance for markets, with Sterling set to remain under pressure should Boris continue his do-or-die Halloween Brexit stance. What would Boris Johnson mean for Brexit? The UK Parliament rejected a withdrawal agreement negotiated by Theresa May three times last year, a move which prompted her resignation and the ascent of Boris Johnson to the top job. Johnson insists that he will renegotiate a better deal, that the United Kingdom will leave by the October 31, 2019 deadline and he insists that could happen without a deal. The no-deal position was flatly rejected by the UK Parliament in a vote. What would no deal actually mean? Nations usually have very complex relations with a web of agreements on issues such as customs, migrations, tariffs as well as product and service standards. Belonging to the European Union radically simplifies that with no trade or migration barriers between member countries, no differences in product rules. And unified trade pacts with the rest of the world. Financial rules are also simplified with banks and other institutions able to operate in all member states with one license. Once the UK withdraws, this system will not be in place anymore. The UK and the EU negotiated a withdrawal agreement that was almost 600 pages long, just to get through the next two years, until more permanent arrangements could be reached. What will happen if this is teared up is an open question.
Reaction to Mr. Johnson's election in the UK was mixed. Speaking to reporters, leadership runner-up Jeremy Hunt says he is very disappointed to have lost but is proud of the campaign he ran. This was always going to be uphill for us, because I was someone who voted Remain, he says. I think lots of Conservative Party members felt that this was a moment when you just had to have someone who voted for Brexit. In retrospect, that was a hurdle we were never able to overcome. Asked whether he will serve in Mr. Johnson's cabinet, he replies, these are all discussions that will happen over the next few days. I am delighted for the country that Boris has become prime minister, I think he'll be a great prime minister. Philip Hammond, the Chancellor tweeted. Congratulations at Boris Johnson. You have said very clearly that you are determined to do a deal with Brussels and you will have my wholehearted support in doing so. Good luck. Labour MP David Lammy tweeted. Boris Johnson's coronation as Tory leader and Prime Minister is a sad indictment of the state of modern Britain. Even after a career marked by incompetence, lies and vanity, if you have been to the right school and university, you can get the top job in the country. Brexit party leader Nigel Farage says he wishes Boris Johnson well in his pledge to take the UK out of the EU by October 31st, adding. It is do or die not just for Brexit, but for the future of the Conservative Party too. Richard Tice, chairman and one of the Brexit Party's 29 MEPs, says the new PM has just 100 days to deliver. Boris is not well known for honouring his word on Brexit, since he voted for the terrible withdrawal agreement after calling it vassalage, he adds. We are the only party that can be trusted to deliver on Brexit. Matt Hancock, health secretary tweeted. Huge congrats to at Boris Johnson on winning the Conservative leadership. Time for us to get behind him to deliver Brexit, unite the country and then get on to all the other things that matter to people across the UK. Perhaps the best response came from Ivanka Trump who made a typo in her tweet. Congratulations to at Boris Johnson on becoming the next Prime Minister of the United Kingston. Only time will tell what legacy Boris Johnson will leave. We would love to hear your comments.